You see what low grade you made on your weekly mathematics test. More than half of you failed. Most of those who passed just got by. Nobody had 100%. Some people think of school as a place where teachers just pour knowledge into the students' brains and then test them on what they've learned. But the science of learning suggests that this isn't how humans learn best. Research shows that we learn the most and retain that knowledge when the process is individualized and active. In other words, it centers around the student. So what does that mean in a high school classroom? Sometimes it means giving kids the opportunity to choose a topic or project to work on deeply. Senior year, you get like a thesis class called Engineering Design and Development, where you develop your own uh, invention. I developed a heart rate monitor for animals. It also means allowing kids to work at their own pace and including them in the planning and assessment process. I have definitely learned to be self-sufficient, uh, to analyze deeply into problems. If I don't know an answer, there's always a way to look deeper into things. There's always a way to accomplish things by myself. The result of student-centered learning is that kids take ownership of their learning. They have a sense of agency, that they're ultimately in the driver's seat.